Greetings, Henry. So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scalitz. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. And where would you care to go? How about the tavern? So that's what you call a walk, then. Sitting down and... What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it, so I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> it's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's not doddle. Last one is a slimy slug! Fun. Sit down here next to me, Hal. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with... stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed... <laughs> <laughs> with a pig? <laughs> Now then. Ah, oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. Phew. 
The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Hmm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel. But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. Hey, Mutt. Remember me? From Scalix, remember? You want to go with me? Come on then, we'll get on like a house on fire. Follow me. How are you? Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ringleader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some wenching. Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bathhouse visits. And the girls in the barbs are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? Consider it done. Provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the bathhouse madam's chambers. Come right back with it once you have it. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah.
Wait, I need to talk to you. You're the young fellow who came here from Scalit's half dead, aren't you? Yes, that'll be me. Why? Well, the lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. Take care now. The Lord save you. What do you need? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, but why me? Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honour, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sassau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujitz. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. You said uh, a roan from Ujitz. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Wine, a roan and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Good luck, Ben.
feel quite hungry. God be with you. What can I do for you? I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well... Chamberlain Dietrich said something would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard. But as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. Good luck to you. God be with you. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. Listen, Bashek. I've been entrusted by the Lady of Talmberg. I need you to help me understand how to calm down that roan. Lady Stephanie? Then you know her. She's a good person. She even talked to me once. I know her too, and she was nice to me as well. Will you help me with the roan? You have to... sing him his favorite song. And which one would that be? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there the first one is brown, and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Vasha.
Ride a horse, you moron.
Good day to you. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Uh. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Well, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. Good luck to you. Yeah.
Yeah.
Good day to you. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Well, Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Uh, why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. Take care now. Yeah. 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 Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
Hey, lad! I'm quite hungry.
Good day to you. The late this one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. 
God be with you, good sir. What have you done? Did you kill him? Me? What do you mean, me? It, it was you? You killed him? I didn't kill anyone. The corpse was already lying there when I got here. What are you doing here, nearby a corpse? Nearby a murder?
I'm looking for humans. and killing any I find. You? Not likely. Oh shit, you're covered in his blood. I like to get in a fight now and again, and I've got the blood to show for it. So what? You? You look more likely to shit yourself and run. It was you. Who else would it be? And the guards will see for themselves anyway. Farewell. Oh, damn it, I'm hungry. Hey, Goodman. A word with you. About that Moldavite we discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizak. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone if you would be so kind. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening.
eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. Yeah. something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? I've done as you asked. Excellent, Henry. Uh, I, I look forward to the latest place? news from Talmberg. No. I oh, hope Captain Robot rubs uh, the commander's nose right in it. Sits down and gets on with it. And she's quite deaf. Have you got any more jobs for me? I'm not surprised. Of course. Now, that's no mean feat, you're asking. You're right there. That's well, I know. Anyway, I and well, I lost hey. to old Tonda from Tabor, the one I buy. I'll steal that horse for you, but the reward had better be worth it. Don't worry. How much do I want for them? But you'd best not come back with some old I nag. I surprised myself. The Lord watch over you. I wasn't sure if anyone even wanted to show them. Yeah! 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 Once 
to earn a bit of coffee. The blood will be spilt.
God damn it, my stomach hurts. Jesus Christ, Lady Stephanie, and what would she like? Wine, good wine. Ah, ah. Uh, would beer be as a gift for? Then that's shit. Isn't there anywhere? Unfortunately, not. 
I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more. Farewell. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah. God be with you. What about the... I seem to recall telling you exactly what... God be with you. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it.
take care now. I have to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger.
to him. Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse. Good day to you. I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? I do. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. God be I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. I'll be with you. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes, and um, on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> no, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern, but there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you won, I need it. Not a chance. I won it fairly. So how much do you want for the wine? <laughs> Here, vulture. A pleasure to do business with you. Mm, speak for yourself. <laughs> Good luck to you.
Ja. Save. Can I help you with anything? I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Be careful. That horse is a wild one. He won't endure a rider. He kept throwing me. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learned a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. Graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Let's just say that when I got to the merchant, my task had only just begun. But you were able to handle it. Thank you so much, Henry. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But, but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me.
forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. 